uh, I think you can look at any number of cities uh, in the state of Florida and probably other states as well, and you will find that in addition to uh, subdivisions that pay city taxes and, and city fees, they also are subject to homeowners associations uh, that do the very thing that you're uh, talking about, enforcing deed restrictions, and they are also subject to the fees that the HOA uh, paid the day that uh, you know they entered into that. They don't go away. They exist in cities. They exist in unincorporated uh, uh, parts of the state. And, and you're right. I don't think there's any uh, assurance to any you know that anybody can give anyone that if you do this, the HOA goes away. In fact, no. I think the question here though is, you know, what would the fee be? And I mean, nobody knows at this point. It probably wouldn't be 252, as you pointed out. You say you're not suggesting that, and it probably wouldn't be. Uh, would it be zero? It probably wouldn't be zero either. The question is, what would it be? And I think that gets back to really Mr. Perez, and, and a lot of people have said this. It, you just got to have the facts. Uh, you know, what does this mean to the average homeowner? Uh, what I would like to know if I want to do something with this is, what does this mean for every homeowner? Uh, where everybody could look and say, okay, if this happens, this is what happens to me and my family. Uh, you know, I'm a winner. Uh, others would say, okay, if this happens, here's what happens to my family. Ooh, I'm a loser. But, you know, I'm gaining a higher level of service. But that's the kind of information that people need in order to make a decision. And I that's agree right. with and others. Does, does he